Within Photo 10, there's a lot of application settings within your control. To access these settings, go ahead and go up to the menu bar and click Photo 10 and choose Preferences. You'll see the window pops up with several different tabs. The first tab here we see is General. So this allows you to control things like color space. You also have scrolling controls and also background color. So right now we have that set to black. But you can choose white, gray, or even a custom color. You also have options to open up browse or layers when you initially open up the Photo 10 application. These boxes below represent preferences for auto updating and prompts for when you leave files within layers. If we go up to the next tab, we'll click on files. In this tab, we're choosing how Photo 10 handles various file types. So down here below, we can choose things like edit original or edit copy, and you can even check mark this box if you prefer to have the smart photo option by default. Once you create those copies, you can choose what kind of file format, color space, bit depth and resolution here below. If you'd like to choose these options individually every time a photo is opened up, go ahead and keep this box checked. The next tab has to do with plugins. In this first section, it has to do with smart photos and how Photoshop files are handled. With the drop down, you can choose if you want to be prompted each time whether to make a smart photo or not, or you can select smart photo or normal. A smart photo preserves any layers that you have within the application, say layers or effects, whereas a normal photo is going to flatten that image and not give you access to re-edit those layers at a later time. Further below, we have the Lightroom preferences. This is where you can choose how Photo 10 handles files as it interacts with Lightroom. So you can again choose things like file type, color space, bit depth, and resolution. You also have visual options with how photos are displayed within Lightroom in these checkboxes here. So you can choose stack with original or use originals when it's a single PSD. To change these options, single click these checkboxes here. In the Systems tab, this is where you allocate what kind of resources your computer is going to give for Photo 10. So things like system usage and RAM usage. You can also decide how much cache Photo 10 has access to while you're running the application. In the Services tab, you can choose which storage provider you'd prefer to show up in the Sources toolbar. And in the Photo Via tab, you can also choose which storage provider you'd prefer to use with Photo Via. We'll have more in-depth videos for Photovia in separate videos.